Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. And bro, it's freaking snowing in Texas. Like, it's snowing. It's a beautiful sight, alhamdulillah. But you know what it means when it snows, boys? We gotta get snow ready. We're about to go bust out some shoulders and biceps, all right? And obviously, like, whatever, snow in like 30 degree weather is cool, but it's currently like 10 degrees in Texas or where I'm at, and so, you wanna layer up. So to get started, we have the white tank top. This is gonna be what we're gonna wear in the gym. And then for sweater, number one, yes, number one. Remember, it's 10 degrees, bro. We've got this nice white sweater. It's got a design, got like some designs on it and stuff. So boom. And I'll show you, I'll show you guys the snow when we go outside, bro. It's just, you know, for Texas, Texas is like not a snow place, you know what I mean? Texas, like we, in Texas we usually get snow, right? Obviously like annually we get snow, uh, but like we're prepared, you know what I mean? So first sweater is this white one, then we're gonna go with this oversized brown, brownish, brown grayish color for layer number three, AKA hoodie number one, you know what I mean? So shaboop, shaboop, shableep. Now I was gonna throw on a beanie, but low key might, I don't want to. I want to wear the hat, you know what I'm saying, Mike? So, boom, now we're gonna go with the LA hat. That's gonna keep us in a great position for this snow, baby. So, you already know we're having a coffee before our workout, and bro, a lot of the snow is melting. Uh, like I said, Texas is literally bipolar weather. So this morning, it tons of snow, now it's all melting, but I'm gonna still be able to show you guys some. Let's get this coffee ready first. So boom, yo, you already know I was going to the G station to get coffee, but got a coffee maker, boy. It's legit, it's legit. We went ahead and made a whole thing of it, and we're using Arabica coffee. Pretty good decaf, right? Yo, love this coffee cup. Boop, just like that, Mike. We're gonna pour it up to like, you know, three-fourths. You already know, but this is pre-workout coffee. Shloop, just like that, baby. And let's get some ice because, let's get some ice for it because I'm trying to drink this pretty quick because it's for the gym. It's a pre-workout so I don't want to be burning my tongue. I want this to be nice and cool and easy to chug. Bruh, this is what I mean by, I kid you guys not, it was snow head to toe this morning and now it's boop. As you can see, yo, the car need a wash, boy. The car need a wash. Let's see if there's any more snow in the grass. All right, yep, we've got some snow here because it's covered. So that's about all the snow that's left. Everything else really melted. Like I said, boys, Texas be doing its own thing, bro. Now, huge, huge tip. Whenever you're turning your car on in really cold weather, bro, let it warm up for like, you know, three to five minutes just so it can operate properly. Bro, that's so funny. We started out the video with like, yo boys, yo, it's a snow day. And it's almost a snow day, but it's cool, bro. We still got some snow in the video, boys, so it counts, you know what I'm saying? Man, since all the snow's gone, I mean, I guess we could have went without the three layers of freaking clothes. But hey, hey. Better prepared than not prepared, am I right? Am I right, mate? Yes, I am right. <clears throat> Let me get my bag, my bag from my dad. And obviously, ladies and gents, in any weather condition, make sure you're in a great position to drive, a safe position to drive. All right, all right, all right. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. All right, now that the car is warmed up, yo, we are good to get on the road. Cause the car is warmed up. It's so funny cause like, one of my best friend even, uh, one of my brothers that lives in Iowa, whatchamacallit, they get, Iowa, if you know Iowa, Iowa gets snow like, it's uh, it's normal. 
it's a normal thing to get snow over there. And so for them, it's like, snow is just like, it's all right, you know, it's it's part of their whatever. So they have snow plows, they get the roads ready, just so they can continue, you know, doing their thing, you know, getting the job done or whatever. The point to that is like, for them, snow is like a, it's normal, right? But in Texas, if we get snow, we taking pictures, we making videos, boy, we're letting it know that Texas got snow, you know what I'm saying? But it's just so crazy to me, like, you know, Texas is, in the morning it's snowing, in the afternoon, you know, snow's gone, you know what I'm saying? It's actually pretty funny. One big thing I do want to talk about in today's video, ladies and gents, is, um, it's discipline, right? But a different aspect of discipline, a more specific, like, you know, more specific target or subject about discipline, it's no matter how you're feeling, ladies and gents, you always want to give it your all and get the job done. Whether you're feeling amazing or whether you're feeling weird, bro, you want to always, always, always give it your best effort. And what I really mean by that is the only way I, I genuinely believe this after reading and all that stuff is we are only going to hit our goals and we're only going to succeed and fly past our goals is by doing the work, whether we're feeling happy, mad, sad, angry, whatever emotion you can name, you still need to get the job done, whether that's getting in the gym and doing your exercise, whether that's doing that specific part for, of your business, whether that's, um, you know, anything, anything, anything. If you have a goal, right, if you have a goal and you have something to do to get closer to that goal and succeed and attain it, and you're just, your attitude's off, bro, you need to learn to start being like, bro, freak the attitude, right? Like, I don't care how I feel. I have something I want to get done. I have something that I want to achieve. And that's what we're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So that's a big, one of the big, you know, topics of today's uh, vlog is like, bro, I want you guys to start learning that. I promise you, that, you know, if you can get what you need to get done, no matter the feeling, bro, you will skyrocket to your goals. You'll skyrocket to your ambition. You'll skyrocket through everything, bro. And you just need to keep doing it. You know what I mean? You just need to keep doing it. Like I said, no matter the feeling, bro, no matter how you freaking feel, bro, I always say this a lot, one foot in front of the other and before you know it, you've walked miles. And what I mean by that is one step at a time and before you know it, you're you're at your goals and you freaking skyrocket past them. So for shoulders and biceps today, I'm gonna try something a little bit different because you guys already know, I'm always trying new things to maximize gains, maximize progress. So we're gonna change up the workout a little bit, just like switch the order and even like try a couple new exercises that I, you know, it's like I don't usually do, you know, to be honest. Uh, because again, one big thing you can always do. So if anybody, if you're always like, oh, if you're having trouble getting sore, one thing I can always suggest is trying new exercises. Um, and the reason I say that is when we're trying new exercises, uh, think about it like this, okay? If you're doing the same exercises, all right, your body and your muscles already know how to react to get it back to like a healthy state. And what I mean by that is like, to get it back stronger and build the muscle back up together. And what I mean by that is whenever we're working out, right, we're ripping our muscles. We make micro tears in our muscles. Um, and so whenever, you know, the body's job, the muscle's job is to fix those tears and that's how we get bigger and stronger. But eventually your body can adapt and learn how to work perfectly with those certain exercises. So one thing you can do is just try a whole new session. Surprise the muscles, bro, try a whole new session or you can go harder in intensity. What I mean by that is, bro, you know you can always go harder in the gym. You know that. You either go harder in intensity or go harder in weight. And what I mean by that is go, go heavier and stuff like that. Or we can switch up the exercises to give the body a whole different feel, bro. And for me, all of those work. You know what I mean? Up in intensity works, I get sore. Uh, lifting heavier, I get sore. But I, I have to say, whenever I switch up the exercises and just do a completely different workout routine for that day boy the soreness kicks in i'll be having to get a massage you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? i'll be getting a massage but i definitely suggest if you're having trouble like getting sore for your next workout just search up new exercises try an entirely different workout routine for that day dude you're gonna be sore as a dog the next day bro it's, it's nuts it's nuts but then soreness means 
in Fidela, Fidela definition, right? Soreness means we did a great job, we worked hard, and the muscles are gonna come in stronger and bigger. And so once the soreness is gone, we've achieved a new standard, we've pushed the limit to a higher one, and so now, like I said, we're stronger and we are bigger, baby. I leave my gym headphones in the car. When the weather gets cold, these earmuffs are hard as a rock. So we gotta warm them up, warm them up. All right, they're getting a little bit warmer. They're getting a little bit looser. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it might be time to get some new ones, but hey, these work. I just gotta get some new earmuffs. Alhamdulillah, these things work great, all right? Uh, definitely gonna get some new earmuffs though. So gotta just warm them up a little bit for this delicious, for this amazing shoulder and bicep exercise. Like I said, trying new exercises, just trying to get a different feel for different exercises. I mean, I've really tried all, all kinds of shoulder exercises. But you know what I'm saying, mate? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't playing. The coffee today was really, really good, alhamdulillah. It's the perfect pre-workout, baby. All right. Now, let's grow some muscles. So the warm-up was freaking great. Now we're starting out with exercise number one. Uh, we're doing shoulder press machine instead of dumbbell press. Now, we're already pushing really, really hard, baby. This is set number five. I'm going three to five sets per exercise. So right now we got 75s on each side, 325s. And we're pushing, baby. Let's go. All right, let's go. Aiming for gold. Ready? Up. Ooh, just like that. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on. One second, my freaking ringer's going off, bro. Let's go nine, 10, 11, up, 12, come on, come on. 13, 14, up. Beautiful, beautiful. Already, after exercise number one, five sets, the shoulders are already pumping. They're already freaking pumping, baby. Uh, for this workout, we're going back and forth, shoulders, biceps, shoulders, biceps. We're gonna do some easy bar, AKA barbell curls. We're aiming for like 10 to 15 reps right here, all right? So boom, ooh, nice squeeze. No nonsense reps, all right? And no, so what I mean by that is no swinging back and forth. This is all in the biceps right here. All in the biceps right here in my, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, nice, come on. And then right when you think you're done, you got five to 10 more, baby. Keep going, keep going, my. Ooh, nice, 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 come on. Aiming for gold, aiming for gold. Beautiful repetitions. Oh, snap, let's go. Beautiful. Ooh, you can see the pump through the jacket, boy. On to exercise number three, we're doing shoulder machine flies, okay? So usually you can do it with a dumbbell, uh, but right now we're gonna do it with the machine. Dude, this machine is literally amazing uh, for like really pushing these lateral delts to grow. It's because the way we're doing our exercise, our form has to be perfect in order to use, in order to use the machine correctly. So I, like I said, 10 out of 10 on this machine, baby. So here, even on these machines, you don't gotta go crazy heavy on this because on dumbbells, you're not, you know, you're not using 50s to do flies, right? You're using like 10s to 25s, and so it's kind of the same thing on this, right? But you can only do this machine with really, really good form, and bro, it pumps that lateral delt like crazy. You'll be as wide as a freaking building. <laughs> but right there, perfection, my perfection. Squeeze, good squeeze, good squeeze. Beautiful. Whew. A good squeeze on that last rep. And even if you want to mix it up, bro, do squeezes on the first five to 10 and then bust out five or vice versa. Bust out 10, do squeeze on the last five. It literally I'm, levels you up to a new game of intensity, bro. Yo, this pump cover might have to come off, bro. This pump cover might have to come off. Now we're doing cable rope V grip curls. And so that means I'm like V in the, <laughs> the rope. <laughs> so boom. Just like that. Beautiful, just like that. Squeeze. I'm telling you, bro, this builds the peak of that bicep like freaking crazy. You can, ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Focus, my Beautiful, 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 let's go. Come on. Guys, you gotta motivate yourself. 
to become disciplined. Because this is where the money's made, baby, in the discipline. Ugh, beautiful, beautiful. Whew. Like I said, when you think you're done, you've always got five to ten more. Don't be a puss. Don't ever. Always aim to grow. Always aim to grow. Ooh. I'm debating taking off this pump cover, bro. I'm really debating taking off this pump cover right now. Because this pump is feeling vicious. After this exercise, we will do a pump review and give the pump a 1 out of 10. That's a mandatory part of these lifts now. Pump reviews. Pump reviews every workout. For another shoulder exercise, baby, we're going to be doing uh, barbell upright rows or easy bar upright rows. So, boom, grab your barbell up. I'd say to your shoulders or even to your nose, just like that. Good form. Good form right here. This is another insane exercise, guys. Kind of like a cheat code to really build those lateral delts and get you looking wider. Because I'm telling you, it's all about that beautiful shape. You want to look symmetrical and beautiful, baby. Just like that. Ooh. You can squeeze up here, but if you're going really heavy on these, um, just do the reps, okay? Because squeeze, we don't want to pull on any of those tendons. But if you can, if you've built yourself up there, do it, okay? But just like that, okay? Squeeze right there. But oh, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, nice. The great thing about this exercise is if you go light and do more reps, it's awesome. If you go heavy and do less reps, it's awesome. It's great benefit on both sides, heavy or lightweight. Let's get into this pump review, baby. I'm pumped. The pump's already pumping. Pump, pump, pump. It's already pumping through the hoodie, which is really, really good. That means we're moving with intensity, baby, and I love it. So layer one coming off. Like I said, we were layered up for the snow. Layer two coming off, and now we're down to the white tank. So immediately, just wanna make sure the angles are good, baby, and the pump is pumping, baby. I filled up with a lot of carbs for this workout to see how the pump would look, and so far, it is a 10 out of 10. Not gonna lie, though. Honestly, one of my favorite poses is either the side chest or the front double or even the abs and thighs. Like those are some of my favorite poses because it really shows off a lot of the aesthetics. Now we're going bare skin, baby, to see what we're really, really working with. Now, right now, I'm right around 209. If I were to do a real cut right around 180, I'd be super shredded. And then if I were to do a bulk around 220, I'd be pretty, pretty fluffy. But the weight is like at 210. In order to keep a delicious pump and keep up the physique, we gotta always work harder, baby. So we're gonna finish off this workout with an insane bicep workout. You know, to really grow these shaboobies. Shaboobies? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get our weights. You already know, you don't gotta go mad heavy on biceps. It's all about the contraction and intensity. Obviously, you don't wanna go at two pounds, right? But, you know, 10 to 20. Perfect form, great intensity, and you'll get it going, all right? Really learn more about your bodies, guys. When, if you feel it more when you're squeezing or if you're feeling it more when you're going really fast and intense. Learn, 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 let's go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, champion mode, baby, champion mode, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Got more to give, got more to give. Got more, got more to give, baby. Up. 
Woo! That's what I call a hard-earned set. Woo-wee, boy! That was an amazing freaking workout. Pushed really hard, again, changed it up a little bit because I really want to surprise the muscles so they can continue to really, really grow. But the workout was absolutely amazing, 10 out of 10. We gotta go get some gas, boy. Cause you know, in order for my car to move, it needs gas. Kind of like muscles, you know what I'm saying? In order to grow muscles, you need to keep feeding yourself. You need to keep giving your muscles food, which creates energy, which allows energy to for you to work harder, which allows you to uh, grow bigger muscles and, you know, stay lean. Um, I mean, if you don't eat, you'll stay lean regardless. <laughs> but, but in order to achieve anything or in order to get the muscles going, baby, you got to keep putting fuel in that tank filled her up and got something inside the store. So since we're not on a full shred right now and we're just staying fairly lean, AKA a lean bulk, I picked up these. Yeah, let me put you on some game, bro. So these are like cheese taquitos, all right? Um, this one specifically is just cheese and jalapeno and it is gas. You get your cheese taquito and I really, really enjoy it with some salsa. So boop. Again, this is a little cheese snack. Always a banger. Always, always a banger, mate. How do you stay lean eating these kind of things? That cardio will be bussin'. That cardio might be bussin'. 10 out of 10, alhamdulillah. You know I had to double it. You can maintain a great physique with eating the food that you love as long as you hit it the right way. And what I mean by that is like, yes, you're gonna have to be on a on a healthy diet, obviously. You wanna be on, the goal is to be healthy, to feel amazing and look great, right? But you can also be on a healthy diet and also have the treats that you absolutely love. You need to understand though that the diet, nine times out of 10, needs to be eaten way more than the snacks. You know what I'm saying? So like obviously the diet, that's an everyday thing. These cheat meals, cheat snacks, these aren't an everyday thing, right? It's when we've earned them or it's whenever we've scheduled it or just like, you know, it's here and there, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like the, our healthy diet where we're eating it every single meal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is it for today's Your Turn Yar. I really, really do hope you guys did enjoy this YouTube video. Although it actually wasn't a snow day vlog, uh, we got snow, you know what I'm saying? We got snow and an amazing shoulder workout, so I really do hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're old here, give me a thumbs up. You know I always appreciate it. Um, other than that, guys, quote of the video, bro. You know we gotta do the quote of the video. You know we have to. All right, quote of the video, and that is, you are your worst enemy and your greatest ally. And that means you can either be your own enemy or you can be your own best friend. And remember, Always pick to be your own best friend, bro. Treat yourself nice, talk to yourself nicely, and just love yourself. So quote of the video, you are your worst enemy and your greatest ally, and you already know, we are our greatest allies. See you guys in the next video. Ooh.